This shot here, we have every amateur golfer's nightmare. We've come from little par three. The tee is up on top of that ridge there. Basically, every amateur I've ever played with, all they see is the water. So inevitably, what do they do? They take one or two more clubs, make sure they get it over the water. Now they're back here on the hill with a straight downhill shot to the green. All the amateurs I've played with are absolutely scared to death to hit a sand wedge on chip shots. They seem to think there's too much loft. They can't get it down the hill. Most of them hit a pitching wedge. I'm going to try to show you how to work with the sand wedge. In this case, it'll be a 60 degree. But first of all, I'm going to take a pitching wedge here. And what happens is we, we've got this slope here. So if we hit the slope short of the green, it's going to fire the ball off into the water. What we want to do is get a lot of air on it, get the ball in the air, have it hit soft on the green and stop. Most people are going to take a pitching wedge and with a lot less loft than the 60 degree sand wedge, we're going to hit a shot like this. And what happens most of the time, now you're in the water you want to be in the start with, with in the first place. You're going to have a lot less loft, the ball's going to release, end up in the water. So ideally what you want to do is either take the 56 or the 60 degree, whichever one you have, and we're just going to lift the ball in the air, hit it hard enough to make sure we get it down this hill right here, but then when it hits the green, you'll see it's going to change. It's going to have a nice soft landing to it. So we're going to play it a little up on our stance because we want to get the ball up in the air. We don't want to hit it back here and turn a sand wedge into a pitching wedge with a less loft. So we want to place, place the ball just inside our left toe with our hands in front of the ball. No really movement with the legs, no weight shift. Just want to keep our weight on the left side and lift it in the air and see how nice and soft it comes down. That's the difference of making a three or a six.